I just read a sign on a church bulletin that said, never kick a cow chip on a hot day. You know, I think that's solid advice, actually. That's fair. What's going on, YouTube fam? Micah here, shooting another high adventure video. We're heading to the lake. Lake Murray, South Carolina. I have Big Red in tow behind me, and I'm all by myself. I've never done this before. I have never taken the boat out by myself. And let me tell you, it's a little bit daunting. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, it's, I don't know how big the boat is. It's like a 22 foot boat, 25 foot boat, something like that. It's, it's pretty lengthy. And I gotta load it and unload it myself. And it's, uh, it's definitely a little nerve wracking, especially doing this the first time. This ain't a kayak anymore, Toto. I'm pretty sure though, I got this handled. I think we can, I think we can take this on. We're gonna straight up camp in the boat. I've got provisions with me. Uh, hoping to obviously make like two or three of our meals out of fish we catch, assuming we catch fish. Uh, if my fishing prowess is anything halfway decent, we should be able to catch fish. This lake is chocked full of fish. Is anybody at? the park entrance okay like half the time there are people here like making sure that you have you know can have passive get half the time not it's it's the weirdest thing i even check, look look at this i spent a hundred dollars buying a year-long park pass and it's like well you don't need it half the time allegedly this is like like one of the most like laissez-faire managed parks I've ever been to. In Idaho, like the fish and game people, I mean, it's it's rigid, it's like people are there, you gotta make it in, like, it's like, yeah, it, it, they, they're all over it. Here, it's like, well, you know, just go on in. <laughs> it really, it's, it's pretty like chill. It's like, do you have a park pass? Yeah, okay, cool. I came here one time when there was nobody up there. I parked, fished all day, left, nobody cared. And there's supposed to be like, there's supposed to be like three or four bucks to get in. So it's, it's kind of crazy. All right, let's go get everything loaded into the boat before we drop it in the water. Got our bedding here. There, got clothes, got bedding. There we go. I've also got this tarp with me. There was supposed to be no rain yesterday. And of course, like at night, all of a sudden we just got like a downpouring for like 15 minutes, which gave me the idea, probably should bring something just in case I need to get under a tarp. So it's pretty basic, but it'll do. All right, so here's the plan guys. We're gonna tie a rope to the boat, like show. And then of course this all gets tangled for absolutely no reason. We're gonna wrap this around our trailer. Now what we do is we'll back the boat in. It'll let out some line so the boat can float free. Then I'll be able to grab the boat so it doesn't float away from me <laughs> since I'm by myself. And then I'll be able to just guide it over to the dock. That's how I envision it going anyway. And we'll see, let's go test it out. All right, we are entering the water now. You're gonna start floating here in a second. If the boat's any good, it'll start to float. All right, I think we did it, guys. Put this in park, throw the brake on. Let's go see how we did. Oh yeah, look at us. Look at us. Guys, check that out, he works on docks. That's pretty cool. Got like a big old crane on a big boat. That ought to keep her from drifting. Sweet. All right, let's go get our truck out of the way. Let's get out there. Nice, that worked. And now, a word from our sponsor. In this fast-paced, modern-day society, coffee rut, or CR as it's commonly referred to, is something that millions of adults struggle with every day. CR is the non-lethal but serious side effect of drinking the same bland, boring coffee every day, day in and day out. For many adults, CR is a battle that they've struggled with for years. But now, 
there's hope. Simply go online and take a free quiz, which then allows Trade Coffee to tailor make a selection of coffee to your tastes. Then you will begin receiving your coffee straight to your door. For adults taking Trade Coffee, many found relief within the first two to three cups. See, Trade Coffee isn't like many others' coffee subscriptions. Trade Coffee allows you to explore a wide variety of roasts and blends from around the world, including this full-bodied roast from Denver, Colorado, or this rich and smooth blend from a region in Brazil I can't even pronounce. Trade Coffee isn't for everybody, including people who are dull, stuck in their ways, boring, or just simply don't like coffee. Side effects do include happiness, increased productivity, joy, a sense of adventure, spontaneity, and the ability to function at a high level throughout the day. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description below and start your trade coffee journey today. All right, we are ready to go. Check this out guys. So we have all our stuff in this mammoth cascade 80 quart cooler i've got drinks three bags of ice a little bit of food in there as well again hoping to do a lot of my eating uh with fish using the fish we catch also have the smaller cooler the sport near if you guys are new to my channel i did an epic epic uh commercial for sport near it was pretty sweet about a year ago with my bro and me ancient actually got some uh frozen herring got some worms speaking of bait all that's on ice as well oh we also have a crawfish trap as well i might throw that out we'll see where we're at if you guys can't tell i like spin cast rods i'm a fan everything spin cast everything from my catfishing rods to my bass fishing rods check this out let's see how our minnows fared here i got four dozen oh yeah look at that everybody's still fat well okay not quite everybody we got a couple people that are uh, expired but for the most part Everybody's still alive. I'm going to hopefully be using those tonight. Hopefully show you guys kind of what we're going to do there. Got all the filming equipment. Got some spare clothing. Also the tarp. Uh, bedding. I'll show you guys how we're going to do all that. I also brought with me, under the bedding, a bunch of tools. Just in case anything goes haywire on the boat. Hopefully won't have to pull those out. But uh, you never know. A few extra food items there got the boots oh I also have a couple of frog gigging spears actually back in there just in case uh, we want to go out tonight and look for some frogs if I find a nice little scummy area so hence the reason I brought the boots we're pretty much ready to go here I'm going to grab out our map of Lake Murray we're gonna sit down find out where we want to go and there are a lot of places I could go here interesting interesting I almost think it maybe go deeper for some shell cracker to start the day. Map have any good spots for something like that? There's an area right here. Got a bunch. Stumps, snags. Sounds good enough to me. Let's do it. All right, we didn't quite make it to the stump fields. I noticed this is a little island right here, and there's a bunch of like sand and shells with a lot of stumps uh, dotting it. And this just looks like, from what I see, have seen in the past, prime shell cracker territory. So, we're gonna get into about 25 feet of water here. If that, if those shells and stuff continue all the way out, like I think they might, um, there might be a few shell crackers scattered along here, or a lot of them. There you go. We're going to start with some night crawlers. Actually, these aren't night crawlers. These are red worms. I've just got like a little octopus hook on here on a drop shot. Just like that. Shell cracker love min or minnows. I keep trying to say minnows. They love night or it's not even a night crawler, Micah. What are you talking about? These are red worms. Shell cracker love worms. That's what I'm trying to say. There he is. Got him. Let's see what this is at 17 feet. Well, this is oh, that's a white perch. This is a white perch. Not a bad sized one either. Like. Ooh, just a little small, just a tad bit small. 
It's not a bad way to start the trip though. Now I've had a lot of controversy surrounding said white perch because I caught a bunch of these in a video a while back. Well, not a while back, maybe like a month ago. And everybody was like, oh, those are white bass, those are white bass. But I had one of the local guys explain to me, see that there's a single lateral line right there. That is a perch. If it had five of them running down the side, that would be a white bass. But this is a white perch that is, is I were trying to survive I'd keep him. He's probably about seven inches long, but I'm not. So we'll just drop him back in. Nice, fun catch to start the trip. Not massive, but still fun. And stole my bait, the bum. Here you go, guys. We got another one here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this is a, oh okay, here's a shell cracker. There, that's what we're after. Look at that. Look at that. Right here. What are we at? We're at 16 feet of water. Check that out. That's what we're talking about right there. That's a pretty one. That's pretty one, not the biggest one I've ever caught, but that is a nice fish right there. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet, that goes in the live well, ladies and gentlemen, which is this guy right here, which has extra water in it. So we'll have to get that took care of, but yeah, sweet. There we go. Check that out. Nice. First fish in the live well of our catch cooking camp on the boat. Got one, got one. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's another decent fish right here. Ah, oh, man, it's another white perch. Another white perch. That's just like barely, is that one like another inch or two bigger? I'd keep that. Try not to get stuck by him here. Whew, got some spines on him. That's still a pretty fish though. Not what I'm after. Like I said, probably about another inch or so longer and I'd be tempted to keep it, but just a little small, not real worth it. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pull up, head to our stump fields where we were originally gonna go. This is a fun place to start though. Got to be able to get the skunk out of the boat and get the skunk out of the cooler too. All right, new spot. It is so weird having the boat all to myself. This is, this is really kind of strange. There's a bite, come on. He did. Got him, got him. This is 20 feet of water. It's gonna be a white perch or, nope, shell cracker. Look at that. This is a baby shell cracker. Okay, not baby, but smaller. Smaller shell cracker. That is a good sign, good sign. That's a little too small, a little too small for me, but good sign nonetheless. So here is the plan for kind of today, guys. The one problem I had and I didn't realize when I was looking at the map was um, all like a lot of the stumps and stuff are on humps. Well, the humps come up to like seven feet of water, actually, which would be great like in the spring or the fall, but when the water's 86, 87 degrees, the fish aren't in seven feet of water. The, the big fish typically aren't. So we need to fish a little bit deeper. So a lot of my stumps and snags and stuff in this area are in a lot shallower water than I, I realized. So let's go ahead and head to the coves, see if the map can lead me to some shellcracker schools instead of just sporadic shellcracker. bit of worm. Let's get it. Excuse me. Got him. Oh my heavens. Look. At, oh, wait a second. Hold up now. This might not be the worst thing in the world. Check this out, guys. Look at that. First off, that dude horked down that. I mean, that octopus hook is massive compared to this guy. Look at this. Check this out. Look at, look at how small that is. I mean, compared to my hand. It's not... That is tiny. That though, that looks like catfish bait to me. We're gonna save him for later. That, in fact, we might try to get one or two more of those. That's, that intrigues me for some late night catfishing right there. Drop that down in about 30, 40 feet of water, see what happens. Oh, we got shark cracker, shark cracker. Yeah, look at that. What are we at? What are we at? 21 feet. 21 feet, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Check that out. Now we cooking. 
Look at that right there. Check it. That is a pretty fish. That is a real pretty fish. I'll go right back into the cooler. Or live well, whatever it's called. Back down there. Oh man, there we go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. He hit it so hard he threw slack in it. Oh man. It's white perch. Boy, he smoked that. Just absolutely smoked it. But nay. Got him. Another one. Dang it. Another perch. It is time to consult the map once again. This is gonna happen a lot. I'm gonna just warn you guys. We consult the map often. So I'm thinking maybe we come out, come out here, little island right there, steep drop off. I like that right there. So we're gonna come over here, head out, hit these areas. Let's see if we can hit some midday striper in about 100 feet of water. That'd be pretty cool. All right guys, check this out. Look at this. We're like out in the middle. Well, just about in the middle of the lake. But look at this, a bunch of wood just sticking up randomly right over here. And then there's an island over there. I think between here and the island is where the channel runs. So we could like shellcracker fish out here and then potentially striper fish out there. So let's go ahead and drop this in. Well, I can't do it with one hand. Oh no, I can, I lied. Nobody's smart but me. <laughs> drop this in. This looks very interesting. Fresh bait, 24 feet. I'm actually surprised. It was kind of difficult to see it, to be honest with you guys, because it blended in with everything in the back. If you weren't paying attention, man, that would just totally wreck your boat. I'm surprised it's not, like, marked more. Like, there wouldn't be, like, I don't know, big old buoys around it. Because there are no, I mean, I guess there's a buoy way over there. No other buoys, though. We got him, guys. We got him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shell cracker. This is what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Look. I was thinking they had to be down here. I'm like an island in the middle of the lake. Come on now. That is awesome right there. That's going to be close to one of the biggest ones I've caught for sure. That is a really, really pretty fish. All right, let's drop it in here. Oh, I'm losing water. Okay, so by comparison, oh, wait, here's the other one I caught earlier today, right? Come here, big one. Big boy, come here. Come on. Come on. Uh, this was the previous biggest one. Well, if I can hold them both at the same time, there's the new biggest. So definitely a size difference there. Love that. Let's get him a little extra water in there. Awesome. I knew they were down there, guys. I knew they were down there. They had to be. Sure enough, just had to coax them out. Let's see if there are any more down there. There's a bite. Got him. This is a little shallow. This is 12. 12 feet of water. Oh, yeah. Is this a, if this is a shell cracker, it's an, oh, yeah. This is another nice shell cracker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. I'm going to start having to get the net. Look at that. There's there's the biggest shell cracker potentially I've ever caught right there, guys. Look at that. That was 12 feet of water. That was 12 feet of water right off this island. Holy jumbo. Yes. Look at that. Oh, mama. Here we go. Pop tried. Oh, my heavens. He, you guys saw that. He almost went right overboard. Get, get back here. Get, stop, 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 stop. There we go. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. That was shallower. That was 12 feet of water. Here you go. I think that's the one I just pulled up. That's the that's the new personal best for the day right now. Awesome, guys. Oh, look at that. Sweet. All right, let's see if there are any more down there. Boy, these clouds moved in pretty quickly. I have to say this is quite nice, though. It's cooled off seven or eight degrees at least feels really good Woo! wind's picking up a little bit while this system moves through might have to go find a cove good grief it's all of a sudden like 20 mile an hour winds out here good night of living whoa well that escalated quickly guys we're gonna go ahead 
go ahead and pull it in. Go find uh, a cove. Let this blow over because I just, I don't think it's going to last very long. All right, we found a little cove. Should be perfect while we let this holy McNuggets. What kind of tangle is this? Oh, come on. Are you fronting me, Holmes? Oh, come on. How did, how did, how even, how, how? This is unreal. How do you even exist? I hate so much about the things you choose to be. I know I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. Holy rat's nest, Batman. I can't do it. I don't even know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know. All I can tell you is there's no way that's coming out. Just what I wanted to do, retie after all those shell cracker. Actually, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Bump it along the bottom a lot. I'm gonna be like that white trash fisherman. Eh, it's just a little bit of line. <laughs> He's in. I'm not throwing it in the water. In the trash he goes. It's amazing how many people do that, actually. There's one. Oh, 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 hold up. What do we have here? Hold up. Wait, this has to be a catfish. Oh yeah, it's a baby catfish. Check it out. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. About 12 feet. Just a baby. Little baby channel. There we go. Check that out. Come here. There we go. Look at that. I gotta be real careful because she's got spines, on, spikes on her, and I don't. Look at that. That's really pretty. It's a really almost like fluorescent color. That's good. that's no bigger than about 10, 11 inches right there. There you go. <laughs> Bonus. Man, I love this place. You just don't ever know what you're gonna catch. Well, guys, welcome to fishing in the South. You know, one of the reasons I chose the next few days was because there's supposed to be zero percent chance of rain. Which I'm quickly learning in the south just basically means like there's going to be rain just briefly. It's a nice, nice uh, reprieve from all the all the sun we were getting earlier. Hopefully it'll play out pretty soon. Actually, let's get a catfish and rod thrown out. This for fun. May as well. Yeah, let's go. It's like that. Got half a herring on there. I just do it how I've always done it. Carolina rig. There you go, with a bead. Let's see if we can get a catfish while we're waiting. Make sure that's secure. All right, y'all, I want to mention very briefly, if you guys want any high adventure merch, including like this hat here, t-shirts, or this very sweet octopus necklace, you can find this exclusively on my channel it comes on this leather cord here real leather cord go to the links in the description below of this video and you'll be able to purchase things like the octopus necklace in fact i gave one to mr richard he liked it so much and you guys know mr richard gentleman at the bait shop uh he liked it so much he said oh, man those are sweet so i said let me hook you up with one he's even wearing one so it's catching on here in the south it's all in the link in the description below so get yourself hooked up if you guys want any merch Alright! I'm gonna call this Shellcracker Island. That just hit me. Shellcracker Island. Why? Because we caught two shellcracker here. That's how fishermen name stuff, just in case you didn't know. There he is. Yeah, here we go. Come on. Come on. And the shellcracker. And the shellcracker. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that, guys. Yes! Yes. Woohoo! Check that out. Look at that. It's another nice one. Another nice one. Boom. That one was in about 19 feet of water. 19 feet of water. Pretty fish. Throw them in. There he is. Oh, yeah. This is good fish. This is better fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, big shell cracker. Dang, I'm gonna start getting a net. I'm gonna start getting a net. Yeah, look at that, guys. We're at, we're at 14 feet of water. Look at that panfish. Just look at that porker. Look at that porker right there. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Yes, yes. 
I'm when I hook it, I immediately was like, boom. I thought, yeah, they go fish. They go fish. That is fillet in size right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What a pretty, pretty fish. Sweet yours. There's a bite. Got him. Oh yeah. Look at that. See that? See that? That's a good. That's a good shell cracker right there. Here we go. That's 15 feet. 15 feet. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Swinger aboard. Yes. Yes. Oh man. Look at that. That's even like relatively small too. I mean, look at this. Check out this. Look at that. Oh. I mean, what a day. Holy cow. Have a day. Man alive. He left my worm for me and everything too. Very decent of him. All right, here we go. Back at it. I'm right back at it again. Oh, there he is. Oh, see that? Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, this has to be a catfish. This has to be a catfish. This is a shell cracker. It's massive. No, this is a catfish. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my goodness. I was like, what? He smoked it. Look at that. There's your cat. There's your cat right there. <laughs> nice. Come here, kitty. That actually wouldn't be a bad eating size one right there. Not bad at all. It's probably about two pounds. Come here. Ah, look at that. Pretty fish, pretty fish. You know what, though? Not really. I've got my shell cracker for supper. So this is, it's your lucky day, bro. It is your lucky day. Here you guys go. Like I said, yeah, a nice two pounds, probably about 16 inches long or so. 16, 18 inches. But it is your lucky day, my man. There you go. Any other day, we're talking catfish nuggets. Oh yeah, there's something down there. Come on. There he is. Got it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. He's got some spunk. Spunk's got some fire to him. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? It's another nice shell cracker. Look at that. Look at. Oh, deep, 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 boo, 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 Man, a live. Oh, oh, okay. Hold up. Hey. All the, all the fish handling enthusiasts have just been triggered. They're heading to the comment section now to voice their displeasure. You dropped that shell cracker. He's dead. Well, I've got news for you guys. He's gonna be dead anyway. I'm gonna eat him. All right. We're gonna go ahead and start closing up shop here. You guys can see that sun's getting ready to go behind that big bank of clouds. So we're gonna start losing light here a little sooner than later. I'm getting hungry too. It's like seven o'clock. So we're gonna go ahead and buzz down, I think to our bridge, kind of get set up there get cooking some supper get some catfish lines out get some crappie lines out kind of start getting kind of hunkered down for the night anywho see you guys down at the bridge all right guys oh look at that a fish just greeted us hit the surface to say good evening but this is our bridge it's supposed to be pretty, pretty good. Let's see what we can do here. We'll tie up. Tie a knot right there. All right, guys, we're gonna drop an anchor right about here. Tie that off. All right, anchor number two is away. It's a no wake zone, but like, I'm start, I'm kind of thinking long term. I don't want I don't want a ton of movement. I'm going to be able to sit right here and not worry about being jostled and bustled about. So we have our rope in the front here that's holding. Look at that bunch of bait fish. I need to put uh, I need to put something on a bobber. See if I can get whatever that is it's eating there to eat uh, a minnow on a bobber. In fact, I see what the heck that is. Man, that's crazy. That's gonna drive me nuts. Anyway, good sign that they're base fish. And then I've got my two anchors out the back and hopefully that will hold me there from going up and uh, hitting the hitting the bridge against the boat. So we'll see if it works. One, two, three, four, five. 
was that six right there? You know what? Yeah, we're gonna continue to let the shell cracker population grow strong. These six will do just nicely. All right, time to get cleaning. I've hit both these guys with a big stone. That's just nerve still. He did. And they're still hitting the surface over there. That is crazy. Another nice fillet. All right, check this out. Look at that. We got all kinds of meat right here. That's six of our shell cracker. I even actually saved a couple of the carcasses. We're gonna throw them in our crawdad trap, throw them out back overnight. See if we get lucky. Maybe we will. That'd be cool. For this batch, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some mini sweet peppers along with some fresh parsley from my garden and a little lemon. This is a pretty sweet little knife. I got this. Actually, my wife got this for me, I think for Christmas last year. If you guys want to go check it out, I have links to everything in the description below, including like the little cooking setup, this knife, everything. So if you want to get your hands on something, just go to the description below. I'm going to pretend like I know what I'm doing here. Actually, that didn't turn out too bad. There you go. I'll take that. There we go. We're going to just take a little canola oil. Pour it right in like that. Don't need a lot. I'm going to start by throwing all this in first. Let it cook down a little bit. I'll even throw a little bit of the parsley in there as well. So maybe squirt a little lemon juice too. There you go. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, we have Ace First Cast Seasoning. You know what? You know, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that. We're gonna do, we'll do that tomorrow. How about that, guys? Ace first cast seasoning tomorrow. Oh man, so much good stuff. Wait, what's this? I got a little garlic powder. That'd be good. Let me go get some different stuff here. I feel like I'm kind of using the same stuff. You know what I might do? I might just do a little blackened seasoning. And then just some salt and pepper. And just kind of go not too crazy this time. Let those peppers cook down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this guy out. Dump our chum in there. This'll be like double duty because uh, this'll also bring the catfish up too. Might hit some catfish. Just gonna kind of be lazy with it. We're just gonna throw it right off the back of the boat. Just like that. Let them sink down. See if we get anything. That would actually be pretty sweet. Pull up, get like a bunch of crawdads, crawfish, however you like to say it. Go ahead and pop our nav lights in here. There we go. Little light going on here. Make sure everybody knows we're here. All right, these fillets are ready to go in. You know, I'm realizing I'm about to cook this in like waves because there ain't no way I'm gonna fit all those fillets in there like that. Throw a little extra blackening on them. Little salt over everything, cracked salt. Great, that'll cook right up nicely. All right, guys, check that out. Look at that. Kid me. I'm gonna slide all that right onto the plate, just like that. And there we go. We're ready to eat. Oh, that blackened seasoning along with the lemon and the parsley. Oh, it's like perfect marriage going on here. There you go. There it is. Mmm. Oh. Shellcracker is so good. Mmm. You know, guys, I didn't think that camping under the bridge was going to make for a little bit of a noisy night as far as vehicles going back and forth. But I like being able to anchor up here. I got a feeling after today I'll sleep just fine. We should be okay. The shellcracker is actually pretty hearty. I. It's not super flaky, but it's not like a catfish either, like super meaty. It's like right in the middle. It's delicious, what it is at the end of the day. You guys see all those bugs there around that light? That's why I'm hesitant to turn any more lights on. It is the weirdest thing though. I've noticed like around about 11.30 or midnight, it's like the bugs, like they go to bed. Like they don't persist all night. The first like couple hours, after um after the sun goes down it's really bad like this but then 
like I said, around about 11 o'clock at night or so, it's like they're done. So. Okay guys, it is no secret that trying to film at night is pretty bloody awful, which is really unfortunate because there are a lot of cool things that happen usually when you're night fishing. And then you're like trying to put a camera on it and you're like just catching basically like little black shadows and it's like, oh hey look, here's a fish on shore. Well, no more because I have bought the Nimbus 2000. Now I'm teasing, this is just a really sweet light from Roby. I'm gonna go set it up here on the front. I'm gonna just show y'all this. So you can barely see me at night now, right? Well, watch this. Wait for it. Look at that. Check that out. Look at that beast. See how that sucker lights everything up? Now, I don't want it all like that. Oh, look at the. Here come the bugs. Check that out. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. But now, check it out. I mean, look at this. Isn't that sweet? Oh, well. There are your little shadows still. But look at that. That's awesome. Now I'm going to be able to kind of show you guys what we're doing. Getting this light set up and everything. Oh, check this out guys first ever underwater light well it's a floating light and it's supposed to attract the bait fish which then in turn attracts the crappie so allegedly I'm supposed to just throw it out like that right next to the boat is fine and then i've got my little battery here that will actually probably not sit on the edge of the boat so, no accidents happen. And then we just hook this up. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I just saw a light. Oh, check that out. Check it. We have, we have light. That's pretty cool, actually. Now, I'm gonna just leave that right there. And apparently I'm just supposed to sit next to the boat. And the bait fish come in. Uh, that brings the crappie. In fact, oh, I'm already seeing some little minnows bringing in. Oh, that is so cool. I'm gonna have to stick the GoPro under and see if we can, uh, if, we, if I can show you guys. Oh yeah, I'm already starting to see little minnows pop up. Oh, that is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and get our rods down there. We're gonna drop our lines below that. Get a little ball of bait fish moved in. Hopefully start hitting some crappie. So for my crappie setup, I just have a little golden hook, a couple of split shots, we have a little minnow right in the front, just like that. And we're just going to drop them straight down. I'm going to do this one at about 12 feet. A little minnow once again, just right on. We're going to drop this one down to about 20 feet. I'm totally new to this, guys, so I'm going to just start like this, see what happens. Guys, come check out what I'm bringing in here with this light. <laughs> So we might have just gotten a bite on this one up here. Oh yeah, yeah, I think we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. It's very light. Oh, I missed him. He was on there. Guys, we had a bite. We had our first bite. We had our first crappie bite. And he is, is he still alive? He gone. Shoot. Oh man, we had our first crappie bite, guys. Well, I'm, I'm guessing it's a crappie. I don't know. But that was our first bite. It was just very, it was just... Boo -boo. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. Okay, let's get a new one back there. You guys can't see, but like there's a big cloud of bait fish that's just going in a massive circle right here. I mean, just thousands and thousands of bait fish. It's really cool. Got one, got one, got one. Right over here. Come on, come on, finally, finally. What is this? Wait, what? 
It's a catfish. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's a cat? Oh, come on. What is this? Like a bullhead? It's like a channel. What do we got here? We just got like a little channel. Sheesh. That was suspended too. That was like, I'm fishing like 24 feet of water or so. And, uh, wait, what's that? See, what is that right there? What is that swimming around? There's a fish down there. Look at that. You see him going by my light? What is that? Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. See, he's right there. I think that's just a little channel. You know, I don't know. Somebody was telling me about, like, a white catfish. Apparently that they have in here. I'm not seeing any spots on this guy. I don't know, maybe not. I don't see the typical spots, but he's got quite a bit of white on him. I don't know, maybe somebody in the comments could tell me, is this a white catfish? But, anyhow, about the size of like a bullhead. Uh, not what I'm after, unfortunately. So one thing I didn't really expect, guys, was um, there's a lot of like moisture in the air. So things are getting like really dewy and like really damp. I'm either gonna have to like just deal with the dampness or like put the tarp over me. I bought a sheet from Walmart. It's just like six bucks. But then that way I don't have to sleep on the leather. Sleeping on the leather is weird. Well guys, thus ends our first half day out here. That floating light definitely worked. It's just, you know, the crappie aren't here, they just weren't interested. I think I'm literally gonna have to sleep with this over me because it's just so, like, there's so much moisture out here that I'm gonna wake up like soaking wet like I wet the bed if I don't put this on, so. He's part of the ways anyway. This isn't bad. See you guys in the morning. I didn't sleep terribly long. I only got about five hours of sleep, but I'm doing pretty good, actually, all things considering. Absolutely gorgeous morning. I was very fortunate last night. It was just dead calm. Well, you can, you can see around me. I mean, the water's just like glass. So it was ideal for you know, sleeping out under the stars on the water. The bed was pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. This was, uh, it was actually quite comfy. It was quite comfy. Definitely a little bummed about the fishing last night, but that's okay. It is middle of July, so I think everything is just a little bit more difficult. I think this would have been a tactic that like I said, in April or May, I think maybe this would have been fire, maybe even June, first part of June, but just didn't happen last night. Because I almost forgot we had a crawdad trap out all night. Let's see if we got anything. 
Man, nothing. Nothing. I wonder if I should set them maybe shallower. I don't know. Oh well, it was worth a shot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, time to consult the map. Man, this lake is massive. Just absolutely massive. I think I have our heading now. Wait, what's this? What the? It's a snail. How did you get on the boat? Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up, buddy? So another one of the challenges of doing um, a catch cooking camp on the boat, like what we're doing today, is that uh, I also have to conserve battery on everything. So like I always have to be watching um, battery levels so I can continue to run like the trolling motor, the depth finders. So I can't just like be running around on the trolling motor like bass fishing all day or brim fishing all day. So I think what we're gonna do is go see if we can't find a nice little spot that we can just maybe drift around. And we just gotta keep like conserving everything because I've still got like, I don't know, 30 hours to go or so. So we gotta make sure that uh, everything lasts. All right, we are anchored up in a spot I've never been to, but we're surrounded by a bunch of little islands, like submerged islands. And we're sit currently sitting in like 17, 18 feet of water. And we're gonna go ahead and get some breakfast going because uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm getting hungry. Uh, plenty of snacks for the day, that's for sure. There we go. Brown sugar and honey, Johnsonville. Sausage. Hungry. I feel like I could eat all of these. Yeah, plenty of minnows left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a minnow over the side. Just gonna drop it to the bottom. Oh, oh guys, 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 I got, we got one. This was on the minnow. This is on the minnow. What in the world is this? Oh, it just came off. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. What was that? Look at that. Our first wave of sausages are done. Oh, that looks delicious. Guarantee you that won't be enough. Want a few more on there. I'm a hungry man this morning. You know guys, I was looking for a cup. For my tropical punt. Then it dawned on me, I'm the only one on the boat. I get to drink it straight from the carton. That's good. Crack a couple eggs in here. Mmm, cooking in all that sausage grease. Me likey. Guys, we're getting bit over here. That ain't that minnow swimming around. This is straight up a bite. Got him. What the heck is this? Oh man, it's a white perch. The bane of my existence. Ah. Ugh. Guess we're getting another bite right here. Got him. Looks like a decent sized whatever. Oh wait, yeah, this is a decent sized white perch. Check this out, check this out. We'll keep that, heck yeah, heck yeah. Look at that. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I'll throw that in the live well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta be careful. Nice. Look at that. Cool beans. Yeah, no, we'll eat that. White perch is delicious, too. I had it for the first time a few... Actually, the last time I did catch cooking camp. It was good stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. First fish in the live well of the day. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's good eight, nine inches for sure. Sweet. Hopefully many more fish and varieties to come. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, it's not the most appetizing egg I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, but it is food. 
to be honest, I kind of wanted runny eggs, but I overcooked them. I tend to do that a lot. I'm really surprised we haven't gotten anything on the catfish and rods. That surprises me. And this sausage is delicious. All right, guys, we have pulled up anchor. There's just been nothing. We just haven't gotten anything. It's been here like an hour and a half and no catfish bites, minus just, you know, the little stuff on the minnow. So we are gonna go ahead and head up a little bit further into this tributary of the lake. See if we can find some, I don't know, maybe like some main lake points or something like that. Plus I really don't like the fact that we're catching a lot of uh, white perch. I'm just sick of white perch. <laughs> new spot, new possibility. Got him. Look at that, immediately. We got a shell cracker. Little one, little one. It's a good start. Check that out, guys. Little shell cracker. Right off the bat, we're gonna throw him in the live well. He could be food and or bait. Got him, there he is. Yes. Look at another nice one, yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Booyah. Yes. Boy, this point producing early and often. Nice little change of scenery here. Not the, whoa. Oh. Not the biggest one I caught, but he'd eat. That's more food and catfish bait right there. Got it. There he is. Feels like a solid one. Feels like a solid one. Yep. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't as big as I was hoping, but that's a, that's another good shell cracker right there. They're all about the same size. I'm getting a little little bit small. We've already got two about that size, so we're gonna go ahead and drop him back in. Man, she really spanked that. Like when I hit it, just boom. There he is. No, this will. Uh, yeah, this is a shell cracker, I'll bet. Nope, white perch. Just when I was bragging. Oh, this is a little bit nicer one. I think we'll keep this one. A little bit more decenter. Oh, look at the spot. Look at all those spines on that right there. Then he's got them on the side as well. If you guys have ever eaten white perch before, you know what I'm talking about. These things are delicious. And it would be fun to get in a, on a school of like 10, 12 inches. This guy's probably about, eh, I guess about eight inches. So not too shabby, but man, they are really good at eating. There he is. Whoa, 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 there we go. What is this? This might be a catfish. Yeah, it's a baby cat. Baby channel. Woo! Oh, look at the spots on this one. Nice and easy. Oh, 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 she almost got me. Oh, she got me a little bit. Look at that. See those the big old freckles on that? I haven't seen them that size before. That's kind of cool. She didn't get me much. Just a little bit, but it was enough to draw blood. Right there in my hand and ooh, that stings that stings if you've ever been stuck by a catfish like that before you know it is not a fun feeling and the baby ones are the worst because like their spikes are like sharper all right guys it is early afternoon and i have been to three different spots hunting for catfish and i just cannot catch a catfish so i'm talking like Obviously, I'm hunting for the big catfish. I'm hunting for, you know, 10 plus pounds, 20, 30, 40. Not like the little ones we've been catching, you know, on the worm, jigging the worm for, for shell cracker. Hold up, we're getting a bite right here. Getting a bite right here. weird. Almost felt like the line was... Oh, wait, I've got one. Wait, what is this? What in the world are... Oh my gosh, I have... What? Check this out, guys. Look at this. Whoa. I have a big 
white perch. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's like another eating size. Heck yeah, it's an eating size. That's not what we're after, but you know what? I'll take it. That's like 10 inches right there. I'm gonna go throw them on the ice. Got him. Yeah. I don't know what this is. I, guys, it's coming to the surface. I almost wonder if this could be a striper. Wait, wait, what the heck is this? Hold up, hold up. Whoa. Whoa, we got a big fish on. Coming up again right now. Oh no, it's a big gore. It's a big old gar. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. It's a big gar. Okay, it's it's like, it's not a record breaker, but it's probably the biggest one I've ever caught before. Let's see if we can get it in. Come here. Come here. There's no way it's going to fit in the net yet. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Oh, what a fatty. Look at this! Oh my word! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my heavens! Check this out guys! Look at that! Look at that fish! Oh my goodness! Look at that! Look at those teeth right there! Oh my word! Man, I thought maybe we had a striper on. We are fishing in like 35 feet of water and it came running toward the surface and that's the sign of a striper typically, uh, you can tell when you have a striper or a catfish on, the striper will just, they'll come up like they're gonna jump. And he started coming up and I thought, oh man, this would be awesome. But nope, just like a three and a half foot car. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my goodness. Ain't no way I'm reaching in there to get the hook out. Cut that right there. Let's get her back in. Uh, there she goes. Well, that was a fun fight. That was a lot of fun. Cool. All right, now we can jump in. I promised my wife, I told her, I said, if I get in the water since I'm by myself, I will wear a life jacket. Even though I grew up swimming in the ocean, lakes, rivers, pretty much everywhere you can think of. set way too loose got him yes that feels like a catfish right there that feels like a catfish right there come on got the rolling going on yes about time about time finally guys it only took like five hours oh yeah it's a good catfish looks like a channel there it is, nice. There's a good catfish. Where's the net? Where's the net? Come on. Come on. Uh. Yeah. There is a fish right there. Look at that. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. There we go, guys. Hey, uh, check that out. I've been wanting a catfish. I don't know why. I've just been like, we've been catching all these little dinks, and I'm like. Man, like I want a good catfish. And that's a good catfish. I'll bet that's like eight or nine pounds right there. Again, not any world beater, but uh, definitely, definitely a nice fish. That'll taste good. We definitely get some steaks off that. I think we're gonna keep this one. We're gonna keep this one. In fact, we might clean this up pretty soon. We'll drop her in the live well for now. There we go. Still got our shell cracker in there. One of them. Nice. Good cat right there. 
a little extra water might even throw a little ice in that water too keep them nice and cool but sweet that's gonna taste good later all right guys bad news the turtles seem to have moved in on our position i've had about half a dozen bites in the last 45 minutes and every time i bring my bait back up like just the head is on and the rest of the body's gone which if i'm not mistaken means that turtles are just snapping and it's like a clean break off the body they're just and leaving the head they're very they're very tricky they don't bite the hook basically all it means is i'm gonna just if i stay here i'm gonna just keep feeding the turtles uh, which they would love but i wouldn't particularly so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna run back up to shell cracker island i also want to see if maybe there's the potential to drop in and do some crawdad hunting as well i don't know we're all gonna find out together so that's the plan let's execute it let's grab this guy hop out here a minute let's tie off to these stumps here i'm thinking stump seems still pretty sturdy he is what i would call a sturdy stump all right guys let's go Right. Got some crawdads, not a lot. We got a few in there. Check it out. Again, guys, it's not not very big. I don't know if it's the area or if they just don't get as big around here, but very spunky. That look at these guys. Very spunky. Come here. Come on. Look at that. It's not a bad crawdad at all. Just keep them in the bag here. Have a little taste of craw later. Super dark red. Really pretty. Huh? Here, grab onto that. Thank you. Got him. Got him. Oh, look at that. See that run right there? That's a shell cracker run right there. Woohoo! Another nice fish right there. I told my daughter I'd bring home some shell cracker for her. 
So we're gonna throw that one on the ice as well. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Woo! It's getting breezy again, guys. It's like we're like on the right on the outside of this storm. It's staying pretty well off over that way, but Woo! it's making it some kind of windy though. I think we're gonna have to get off this main body. Let's go ahead and move into one of these coves here. Get out of this wind. Oh man, that was immediate, look at that. Whoa, look at that. There's a little fight in that one. I was gonna say that's shell cracker written all over it. We'll keep that. Oh, came out peeing. Good grief. There we go. I think I'm waiting for this wind to die down. There he is. That's a solid fish. Yeah, yeah, that's a solid fish right there. Come on. Come on. Yep, yep, nice shell cracker. Look at that. You see that run? That is what I love right there. Yes. Yes. 16 feet of water. There we go. A little bit bigger. The last couple I've caught. Definitely go in the live well. Yes. Man, that is a good looking live well right there, ladies and gentlemen. We've even thrown some out. Not kept as many as we probably could have. Not too shabby. Not bad for a day's work right there. Some really pretty colored ones in here too. Look at this guy. Look at the colors on that. That's real pretty. That's real pretty. Nice. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning some fish for supper. Kind of got started on supper late last night. I'm not gonna make that mistake tonight. Yeah, check that out right there. Look at that. Nice white perch fillet. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited I've got three of them this time. guys here we go ace first cast seasoning my bro finally hooks me up after like two years or something with his own seasoning i'm his own flesh and blood too good grief i'm gonna saute those down a little bit all right we're just gonna put our stripe striper fillets i wish now actually i'd rather have white perch right now white perch fillets just gonna go right over everything go ahead and hit everything up with the first cast seasoning again a little cracked salt that'll cook real fast uh-oh mayday guys mayday mayday my straw hat is floating away we gotta go get him hold up huh. Didn't plan on an evening swim, but it happens. He must have blown over the side. I don't know. I didn't think it was that windy, but apparently so. I gotta get back to my fish. <sighs> we saved him. And just in time, these fish need to be flipped. There we go. Oh yeah, it looks real good. Oh, got some stuck to the pan here. A good chef never lets stuff stick to the pan. There you go. Little fresh fish right out here on the water. <sighs> really turned it out to be a really, really pleasant evening. I'm watching a few dark clouds over that way. I'm mostly thinking about tonight because I just don't want to get rained on in the middle of the night, but that is the chance you take when you catch cook and camp in a boat with no top on it. There you go. 
bite of a little bit of everything with the bros first cast seasoning here we go my filleting skills need work I missed a little bone I have to say the bros seasoning is very solid very solid it's got a very mild kick to it very mild it's not light like a lemon butter seasoning but it's not spicy like a blackened seasoning it's like a happy marriage of both i don't even know what i'm saying that's just the best way i can describe it with the limited cooking knowledge that i have oh man i'm telling you guys though this white perch this is one of my new favorite freshwater fish this is better than the than the shell cracker the problem is finding big enough ones I'll, i can catch the white perch all day long but finding substantially sized ones to actually like make it worth the while to fillet a whole different ball game like almost every shell cracker i caught today was a keeper actually over the last two days they've been i mean they're all decent size and technically a lot of people would have probably kept all the ones that i caught i just i like to make sure they're kind of a nice size keep the population healthy not just pillage every you know size that i catch it's buttery flaky better than yellow perch and i don't know why it just is very blessed to be out here doing this that's for sure i want to show you guys something for this evening what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw see this crawdad right here this is one of the ones we caught earlier see like the there's a, a really like bright red i don't know if my cameras can pick that up underneath it like underneath the claws there you see that i'm gonna throw this guy right here and another reason i'm doing this is last time the last time i actually went out and was catching crawdads one of them got away and there was a largemouth bass close by probably three or four pounds went over just sucked him up you can see that in my last video in fact something will probably pop up here if you guys want to go check that video out i did more like diving for crawdads like i did today but that's why I'm going to throw this little crawdad crankbait here. Try to kind of match. It's got the dark on top, like the crawdad. You guys can kind of see that there. Pretty similar. And then kind of the aggressive undercolor like these crawdads have. This might have a little more orange in it. But we're going to try giving this a try tonight. See if we catch anything. Before we get started on our evening fishing. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? That's like right on the other side of this cove probably means they're like some big fish at the end of that rainbow except I don't have the gas to get there <laughs> that's okay let's get fishing before we lose our light here here we go let's see if the old crawl can rustle up some largemouth here oh man somebody's rocking fallout boy over there one night yeah one more time man look at that sky guys holy cow that is just absolutely gorgeous. Be even prettier here if we smash a big old piggy largemouth on this crawdad cranker. Uh, it's getting a little dark for this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm continuing down because what I'm gonna do, before we just settle in for the night to catfish, I'm gonna pull out a big spotlight, see if we get lucky, find any froggies. I just had a bluegill follow it up and nip it, I kid you not. Big old porky bluegill. Oh, there's one right there. Oh yeah! Look at, oh, whoa, check that out, guys. Oh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to really see this. Yes! On, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, right in the bottom lip, come on. Back here, back here. Yes! Oh, come on, look at that. Uh, yeah, oh, no, no. No, we're just gonna lift her aboard. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Check that out. Large mouth on the crankbait. I was just getting ready to put it away too. Look at that. On that little, little, uh, what the heck is that called? Crawdad, crawfish, crawdad crankbait. You know, I got a measuring board right here. Let's measure it up. It is 14 inches. Look at that. 14 inch largemouth, probably about a pound and a half. Not very big, but we got him. We got him. <laughs> that was so cool. Had a bluegill follow it up, then bam, got the largemouth. 
That's awesome. That is so cool. Nice. Here you go. Sweet. Guys, I see a froggy down there. I look like a, a decent sized frog too. We're entering the water. The light is supposed to blind him. Whoa. Got him. We got him, guys. Look at that. We gigged our first frog. That was awesome. Is the boat still here? That's good. <laughs> that was sweet. That's a nice sized one too. We are gonna go ahead and kill him. I'm gonna just take a rock, beat him over the head. But look at those, those are good legs right there. Those are really, really good legs right there. Check that out. Those are good legs. There's gonna be a lot of meat on that. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. We did it. That was so cool. All right, we are anchored up where I think we're going to go ahead and be for the night. This is kind of weird though, guys. I am not alone. My boat has been hijacked. I have hundreds of visitors. Check this out. Look at this. Mayflies. All of them mayflies. Basically just gathered around this little light right here. I would think you would call that a legitimate mayfly hatch. Look at that. If we were on a trout river, uh, there'd be a lot of people excited, I know that, but I don't like mayflies. They look weird. Call me a hater, a mayfly hater. I am. Wish I had a blower, a leaf blower. I just blow them all out of the boat. Fortunately, they all seem to be kind of condensed around the light, so hopefully, hopefully that is where they'll stay. Well, guys, I think I fixed my filming at night problem. So as always, I will have links in the description below to the lights that I bought. The, like I said, they're just like Roby lights. Um, and I have them powered with just regular Roby, whatever you'd power any kind of power tool with. Um, I got a little bit nicer batteries just so they last longer because, I mean, sometimes if the bite's good, I'll be up as long as the bite's good. I mean, I've been out striper fishing until 2.30 in the morning before, so. Right, check this out guys, half the head of a bluegill, like it's half of a bluegill, it's the whole head, that's what I meant to say. Drop him into about 35 feet of water, see what happens. Awesome. That's in the deep water again. It's in about 35 to 40 feet. Yeah. Oh man, just a beautiful night for catfishing. Just dead calm. Oh, she is not happy. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> Another one. This is the biggest one of the night right here. So far anyway. Oh, yes. Look at that fish right there, guys. Look at that. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, she's throwing up. What is that? Hold up. Oh, check this out. Wait a second. Oh, guys, look at this. You guys recognize these? See what these are? These are the ribs. These are the ribs from the white perch that we cleaned earlier. I kid you not, look at that. Uh, if a light can get that. Oh my goodness, she, she just threw them up in the boat. She just threw them up in the boat. That is crazy, are you kidding me? Cause we just, we cleaned the white perch. Right, let's see, right? 
Yeah, I ate supper out here. We sat right over there off the hump. But there you go. Ugly cuss. But I'll bet that's a good 10 pounds. Let's get her back in the water. That's awesome. That's so cool. Just still using half a herring there, just like that. I just got lit up right there. I'm getting a bite right here. Check this one. Wait, do we have one? Oh, we have one, guys. Look at that. We have one. Oh, he's just been swimming around. Wait, is this another gar? No, this feels like a catfish. Guys, we have him. That's awesome. He must just be swimming around on the bottom. Yep, big old catfish. Look at that, right there. Nice. Got it. Nice. There we go. Look at that. That's another piggy. You know, we might throw this guy on a stringer because he's gut hooked. And because that's just a really good sized catfish to eat right there. Good eight pounds. Look at that. Just doesn't look real fatty. I think we're gonna let's throw him on a stringer. We'll add him to the other one. Have a catfish fry. There we go. One kitty on a stringer. This is the bluegill head. This is the bluegill head. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit better. Boy, she was coming in pretty easily until she got to the surface. I still haven't seen her yet. Oh yeah, that's another one. I'm getting a bite on that one too. Yes. Oh yeah, another big channel. Another big channel. That hook gets into that fat of that mouth. It's almost impossible to get it back out. As far as it, it won't just shake free that easily. Oh, it's another pretty channel. Another pretty channel catfish. All right, let's drop her back overboard here. On that big old bluegill head. Left me the head of the bluegill still. Let's get that back out. I'm kind of hoping maybe I'll get like a big old blue or a or a flathead. Oh, got him! Oh, my rod almost just took off out of the boat. <laughs> oh my goodness! They are alive tonight. So I was really hoping to get some redemption tonight with the catfish, and uh, we're getting it, that's for sure. Another channel, another nice channel. This is a spunky channel. Got it. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> another nice one. This is another like eight to 10 pounder right here. Look at that. Like another eight to 10 pounder. Boom. Guys, it is just after midnight, and they are starting to feed. They're coming alive down there. Look at that. That's a pretty fish. Oh, I worry that is a pretty fish. Good fight. Always a good fight. You know, I debated on just leaving the catfishing lines out, but I'm so tired, and I've only gotten like five hours of sleep since we started all this, so... I better try to at least get like six or seven hours of sleep. Not push ourselves too much. We had a good night of catfishing. We're going to pull these in. Call it a night. I put some clean shorts on and some deodorant on. <laughs> That's about as clean as I'm going to get for now. Kind of nasty, but do what you got to do while you're camping. Well, see you guys in the morning. The mayflies are still all over my boat. 
it appears. Good morning, YouTube fam. <sighs> Could not have asked for a nicer night to stay out on the water. Just absolutely gorgeous. I say let's waste no time. Let's hoist the anchors. Fortunately, we're just right here. I can throw right here. And uh, let's see if we can get some fish on the crankbait this morning. There's the weapon of choice this morning. Here we go. First cast of this glorious morning. Mm. Last cast of this thing. There he is. Got him. Got him. <laughs> now we're cooking. Literally, guys, the last cast. I was like, I'm kind of done with this. Wait, what? No, I caught a catfish. Oh my goodness. A catfish on the cranker. It's been known to happen. Look at this. Just smoked it. Just sm smoked it. Are you kidding me? Man, I cannot all of a sudden get away from the catfish. Man, I thought I had me a big old bass on. Ugh. There we go. Little like two pounder. Check that out. She annihilated it. Been more active than the largemouth. There we go. <laughs> nice on the crankbait i think that's a first for me catching a catfish on a crankbait actually guys well shoot still fun to catch though still a good time no it's gonna be a warm one today but i want some nice fresh hot coffee on the boat this morning what's this one here this is flatlander that's right there we go there we go Smell like fresh coffee this morning on the boat. I like that. All right. Uh, well, guys, been doing more fishing. Switched up my bait several times. Nothing doing so far. Minus just the catfish. Got to figure out what these bass are on this time of year. It's middle of summer, and uh, my usual methods don't seem to be doing the trick. Let's see how this coffee looks. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. I can deal with that. Fresh morning brew. Mm. All right, guys, I'm switching it up a little bit. I got the drop shot on. This is actually what I was throwing with the worm, but instead of this little gulp minnow on, I got my breakfast here. I got my Chex turtle mix coffee. Mm. Good coffee. Where'd he go? I saw a fish over here. There he is. There's a gar swimming right over here. We're gonna cast in front of him. Got a drop shot. No? Oh, got one. Oh, it's a bluegill. Look at this. Whoa, there's a nice, nice bluegill. Check that out. Holy cow. He just choked that. Look at that. I was trying. There goes our gar. He just choked our little drop shot. Check that out. Look at that. He just choked that whole minnow down. Good grief. There we go. It's a nice size. Be an eaten size. But that's really pretty. That is cool. Conferring with the map. The almighty map. One final time here, guys. There's an island right across the lake. Let's just get it. Here we go, 15 feet of water, right off this little peninsula. There's our first bite right there. Come on. We're gonna nail some shell cracker along this, I'm thinking. Got him. There he is. Oh, there we go. Good fight. What do we got here? What do we got? Yeah, shell cracker. Put him on ice, people. Look at that. Woohoo! There's a solid fish. There's a solid fish right there. Yeah, come on. Come on. Got it. Here he is. 
Come on. Yeah, another nice shock backer. Another nice shock. <laughs> Look at that. 15 feet, 15 feet of water. There you go once again. We're putting them in work. We found a couple now on the back side of this. There's one. Got him. I was gonna say we found a couple on the back side of this. Nothing was on the front side. This feels like another nice fish. What is this? Oh man, this is a big shell cracker. Look at this. This might be the biggest one of the trip. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look. Oh, 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 just popped off. Look at that. Perfect timing. Oh yeah. Check that out, guys. Right there. Just another big piggy. That's a pretty fish right there. All right, guys. Here's what I'm thinking. I've got that frog still in the cooler. Actually, he's on ice. And I want to bring him home because I promised my little girl that I would let her eat some frog. Ugh. So then we're going to go ahead, wrap it up here, get the boat loaded back up, grill up some frog, maybe even some shell cracker, go enjoy a nice frog and pan fish lunch. <laughs> All right. What are you up to, boo? Oh my goodness, what is going on on this deck? What is all of this? I was coloring A, B, C. Yeah? And I was coloring the whole body. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're getting your ABCs down there. A, B, P, R, D. Whatever that is. Oh, oh. Bella, did you do all this? Yeah. <laughs> you want to try some froggy with me today? Yeah, I like frog rig. All right, now let's eat some frog legs. Let's go get them dished up over here. All right, so the first thing we do is we cut off the feet because obviously there's not any food there. Take that off. Then right at the back of the head, you want to make a slit on the skin. We're going to grab the skin like that. Obviously, the frog is dead, everyone. So you just pull down. Would you like to try? Yes, please. You grab down hard like that. And then we'll pull. All right. It's nice and easy. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. Good job, Bella. Look at his bones. <laughs> See, and that is what we're wanting to eat right there, the legs. Look at those big old chunky legs, huh? Yeah, and they have some bones. Yeah, probably some bones in it. Then what we'll do is flip them over. Cut right there. Cut his bottom. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Now, all your left, check that out. What's Got the his, legs, what do you think? What's in his guts, Papa? What's in his guts? Hold up, wait a second. There is something in his gut. What is that? Poop. Well, <laughs> well, I know that. Well, it's just a bunch of sludge. Look, there's some sticks. Probably from trying to eat bugs and stuff. Wow, it's like a bunch of clay. Whew, that's going to be tough to pass. All right, over in our pan, we quite frankly have way too much butter in it, but whatever. We're gonna throw our frog legs in. And then I learned from last year, just a simple salt and pepper, to me, was honestly the best. But it had to be cooked in butter. Cooked in butter with just salt and pepper was delicious. I'm gonna be flipping these several times because this heat, even when it's on low, isn't very low. So I wanna try to cook everything fairly evenly as possible without burning them. All right, we pulled our frog off. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to cook up the crawdads that we caught earlier. I'm going to pour just a little of this Zatarain's shrimp and crab oil in there. I also like adding some Nolan's Cajun seasoning in there as well. Or New Orleans. <laughs> Team Weber. Crockett, what do you have, dude? You, what is that? Oh, are those tomatoes from the garden? Oh, right. May I have one? Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, yummy. These are sweet tomatoes. Look at that. Papa loves tomatoes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, got our water boiling. Reach in, grab our craw. That's actually Papa. decent sized ones right there. Would you like to drop one in? Pop them in just like that. Give them a hot tub. Kind of a sick hot tub if you're a crawdad, but... There we go. Just nice and gently. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Thanks, honey. Appreciate Thanks. it. We'll let those cook for you know, not very long. They're kind of smaller. Check that out. Still, small claws. 
much smaller claws than the ones I would catch in Idaho. <laughs> Crockett, what are you doing, you noodle? What do you guys think? Huh? Yeah. Should we try some froggy? Crockett, would you like a bite? That's Crockett. There you go. Bella. Here you go. Just take a bite of that. Mmm. Mm. Crockett, you want another bite, don't you, buddy? Look at that. We got a frog man here. I really okay. like it. Do you like you want another bite? Yes, please. Crockett, you want another bite, Bubby? Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Mmm. 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 You know, that might not be too, too bad, Crockett. Are you making faces at the camera? Yeah! <laughs> you silly bean. Definitely a little chewier than like chicken, but man, I'd love me just a big old plate of this. Check that out, big old piece of crawdad tail meat. <laughs> Normally I dredge it through butter, but just kind of eating them plain right now. This one, try this one. This is a little bit smaller one. Is Grab the tail. Uh, a little bit. And the body. Now twist. How about we just practice on twist? There you go. Good job. Look at that. You twisted the tail right off. Yeah. This is the meat right here. Yeah, that is the meat right there. Hey, everybody. This is the meat right there. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wait. We're coming around. Yeah. Oh, wrong screen. Show the other screen. <laughs> no, show the eyeball. Show the eyeball right here. There you go. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Going to eat it for him? Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're such a noodle. Well guys, I think that pretty much does it for us for this trip. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in this kids pool here even though the water looks very suspect. Big shout out to me ancient dad. Thanks for letting me use the boat. Don't worry about the scratch in the motor. It's barely noticeable. In fact, you can't even see it when you walk around to the other side. Thanks guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, I will see you in the next one.